And here wow. we have the women's 1500 metres T13 next up on the track. Featuring in this, Elena Pautova, who's the reigning champion of the marathon T13. It's least visual impairment. So here are our finalists, the former world and Paralympic champion from Tunisia, Samaya Boussad. Won the 1500 Christchurch 2011 and uh, Beijing 2008. Anna Tavara Gonzalez of Mexico disqualified in the 15 at London 2012. Adela Congost, silver in the marathon this year from Barcelona, former sprinter and jumper. She's won silver in this, in two of the last three major championships. Here is our reigning Paralympic world and European champion from Russia, Elena Pautova, and from Chile, Margarita Fandes from Santiago, who is the reigning Pan Am champion. Pautova has won two Paralympic titles, three world crowns over this distance, dating back to Athens in 2004. And in this T13 final for the 1500 meters women's, we also have four T12 athletes. Hence, there's some guide runners out there. And they are allowed guides. Fandes of Chile alongside Rodrigo Melado for Russia. It's Elena Pautova alongside Gregory Andiev for Spain. Elena Kongost is uh, on her own. She's a T12 of right. You can see her tucked in in fourth place. Ana Isabel Tavera Gonzalez of Mexico is Cyril Ramirez. And for Tunisia, it's Samaya Boussad, who also looks to be going out without a guide because here she is. Uh, silver in the 100 in 2012 and uh, gold in the 1500 in 2011 in Christchurch and also prior to that Beijing 2008 well out in her own at the moment good lead she'll take them through with three laps to go Pautova is in second place in third is Fernandez of Chile and in fourth Kongost who is guideless but could have gone with one if she wished Boussad out there doing extremely well at the moment. The other athlete in Kongos is sitting well back at the moment in fourth place. Perhaps she's going to make a little run for it towards the end. But at the moment, it is a easy, easy race for the lady who's taken silver medals at these championships in Samaya Boussad. She is well in front by about 50 metres or so, Emino Hanlon, and doing it rather easily at the moment. Yeah, Boussard there, well out in front, almost by about 40, 45 metres at the moment. She already had 20 metres on the field, only 300 metres into the race when they went past the, past the post for the first time in this home straight. As she comes in to that home straight that I just spoke of, she's just continuing to build this lead, and this should be relatively easy for her to hold on to. But we have seen already this week that problems still can occur for these athletes that take it hard. Well, the world record in this in the T13 category is 4.05.27. That is going to take some work at the moment for Boussad if she's going to get up there and get around that. But the pace has quickened a little bit. In second place now is the Russian athlete who took gold in 2013. She also holds the gold medal at the Paralympics in the T12 category. That there is Pantova of Russia in second place. She's quite clear there at the moment and doing it rather easily. But out front, talking of easy, it's Samaya Boussaid. She's got a lap and a half to go, and the lead is around 50, 60 metres for Samaya Boussaid at the moment, taking this title twice previously at Global Championships. But now a little bit of acceleration coming from Elena Bautova behind her and Gregory Andrea Bautova, who won the marathon world title this year. The reigning European champion did that in Swansea. She's done so well. She's taken this crown in the last three world championships in Lyon, in Christchurch, and going all the way back to 2006 to Assen in the Netherlands. A little bit of a fight back potentially coming from her. She's beginning to... Uh, Real things in. There's about 50 meters right now. The bell is coming. Boussat very much in control. She keeps the same pace. She should be all right. Pautova crossing now. There's been a slight reel in of our leader, the Tunisian. And in third place for Chile is Margarita Fandes. So 300 from home. Samaya Boussat. 
what are we about to see? Bout of a dethroned by a T13 athlete. It is the T13 final, but Busan is the only T13. Least visual impairment in this. And now, on the back straight, certainly looks as if the Russian Bautova is going that bit faster. They really put the foot down. Just look at the legwork from both, and Bautova is, is slightly faster. She looks to have brought it down to about 40 metres, but is it too little too late? Or is she relying on Busan to maybe tie up towards the end? Busan's lead seems to be too great in this 1500 metres this final one final turn for home is Boussard for Tunisia Paitov is going like a steam train behind but it is Boussard in the closing straight Boussard coming in with 50 meters remaining and she looks to have judged this absolutely right coming away right at the front right from the start and Samaya Boussard again is the world champion for the first time since 2011 and Paitov is dethroned 4.33.51, the winning time, unofficial, and coming in third place for Chile will be Margarita Fandes. That's the 1-2-3, and it's gold for Tunisia, and it's Boussard who's taking a big lie down as a result of her big win. Well, as I said earlier, Boussard really already had a 20-metre lead over the first 300 metres, and she took it away from there, increasing it to about 50, maybe even 60 at one point. The penultimate lap came through and the Russian made a bit of a move and moved up, maybe closing the gap to 40, 45 metres. But really, it was never, even though the Russian put such speed into that last lap, there was no real challenge to that gold medal for Boussard. Well, the humidity is quite high here. They're bringing a chair out, it looks to be, for part of it. And if you're wondering why we refer to both of them as being world champions over this distance in 2011, it was in different categories. But they're together here. That was the gap. The descriptions will have been coming quite regularly from Gregory Andreev, out of his guide. But Boussard all on her own and very much uncatchable today. Showing good form. And she's world champion for the second time. And in the end, Pautova was left really with too much to do. Uh, Pautova did look to be struggling toward the ends there, the uh, Tunisian. But she kicked away with a 200 to go. She really put in another effort. But I suspect if this was another lap, Boussad may have been in a bit of trouble. Very hot, very humid for these athletes. And she takes the victory, though. They're 4.33.51 with Pautova in second place. Four. 41.50, a margin in the end of eight seconds. Founders third for Chile.